Hello and welcome to the Autoloons. Today we are back with some Gran Turismo Sport concept cars or Group X cars as they are often classified in the game. Last time we did the Honda Sports version Gran Turismo but now we are going to be looking at something a lot more special. The Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo. More special because we get a glimpse of it in the new Justice League movie as Batman's Day car. Yeah. All right. Then let's uh, let's head on over to Brand Central in Europe. Mercedes and the Vision Gran Turismo section, and boom, there we have it. We have the Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo and a Vision Gran Turismo racing series. Now let's look at the first one. The specs, you know, in terms of engine capacity, I think it's a 5.5 liter engine, which I'm guessing is a V8 by turbo from the previous AMG models. As you can see, it has a max power output of 576 bhp and a max torque of 81.6 kg fm, which I have converted to newton meters right here, and it's 800 newton meters of torque. It's a front engine rear wheel drive car and it is surprisingly light at 1385 kilos only. It's a long car, it's 4.8 meters long, 2 meters wide. That's a big car. Now, then we have its sibling with this one has a little more power and a little more torque from the same engine. It is now producing 590 horsepower up from the standard one and has more torque at 819 newton meters of torque. That's a torque increase about 19 newton meters. And it's got further rate reduction and it comes in at a very clean 1300 kilograms weight. Now let's look at the first one in a little more detail. Look at that. Look at those wheels. Look at the front wheel. Look at the headlights. Look at this beauty. Now, if we go to this section, we can see that it has, as I thought, the V8 by turbo engine, which is paired up with a dual clutch transmission, seven speed sports transmission specifically, called the AMG Speed Shift. That 1385 kilo curb weight is thanks to an aluminum space frame body and a lot of components in carbon fiber, as you have in motor racing, which is how they kept the weight so low for something that is so big and so powerful. All right, let's go back and this, I think it looks really good in uh, all beam silver, alu beam silver, sorry. I think that's the color that Batman has in the movie Justice League. We also see it in dark silver gloss and in black matte. I personally like the black matte. I look at the tail and look at the massive diffuser. This thing is just so, so gorgeous. Now let's move it on to its racing series version which if you can see has a massive massive rear wing check that out I mean look at the color options on these wheels check this out oh that's white that's a, that's a bright color to be driving behind oh that's nice that's a good spec that's pretty bright all right, I got my favorite one. Yep, this one. This one's my favorite spec. Just take a look at those lines. Look at the aerodynamic. Look at the side plates. And that massive, massive rear wing for extra downforce when you're going around turns. Added on to that already elongated swooping tail of the AMG Vision Gran Turismo. Let's just take a little loop around of this car. Just admire how gorgeous those lines are. In some respects, it has got a silhouette similar to the Aston Martin Vulcan. 
in how extreme it looks and how low it sits. But I think AMG has added a little more muscle to it, a little more friendliness to it compared to the Vulcan, which just looks angry. This one looks elegant and powerful and quite fitting as Batman's car. Now, um, again, as you might have noticed, I do not have this car in my garage. I do not have this car in my garage at this moment. But we are going to drive this particular racing series model in the mission challenges. So let's just head on over there. Mission challenge. And there we have it. It's a one make race and it is a lap of the Nürburgring GP circuit. Now I've never driven around the Nürburgring or in this car. Let's go. Alright, we are loaded in and let's get into it. get to see what the car is from the what this particular racing series model is like from the inside but damn this thing is quick uh, but driving let's just, let's just pull over here for a second There's a lot of power to put down you would expect with the rear wheel drive car with the, even with the traction control on it is quite happy to slide around oh that sounds so good Handling is really, really nicely done. It's set up quite well for circuit driving. I know how this will do on the road. And as I say that, I drive off because I totally missed the braking point. But yeah, this thing can really corner well when you drive it properly. It breaks really well as well, like it can really manage its weight. So you can you know, because it's a, because it's so light even with its size, you can break a lot later than you think. You can really throw it into corners really hard and really quickly. Mercedes may have pulled out of the GTM racing, but I would love to see this car in action in a one-make series on a track. This would be amazing to watch and just amazing to listen to. Okay, so now we're going to race properly and see how well we can do with this car. Uh, don't have high hope, but let's see what we can do. Oh, sound is so good. That color up ahead, that's the one I want. Looks so cool. Focus. Well, it's quite clear that I'm no good at racing this car on this track yet. But yeah, that's the Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo concept racing series concept. 
and uh, yeah, you know, it's again, it's a really cool concept. I think they showed a Vision GT at the last year's Paris Auto Show. You know, you can you can look that up uh, on the website theautolinks.com. Link in the description below. But yeah, I think this that will be it for this video. So yeah. Uh, and there we have it folks, the Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision GT Vision Gran Turismo Racing Series Yeah, so let me know which one you would like to see next in the comments below Drop a like to keep the series going and of course do click that subscribe button Loon out